FX welcomes you to take two of the Auto Club 400 this afternoon. Overcast skies after rain basically uh, washed out the weather. Sunday afternoon, we were supposed to go green shortly after 2.45 p.m. Eastern. However, rain moved in, and we did get a little bit of racing in. Rain moved in after that. It, then the rain, basically the race essentially stopped. Opt, they hit the reset button on it all. Now, it is an overcast day, The just past 9 a.m. here locally. And um, while we're here, let's take a look at the Mobile One starting lineup. Row one, we have the Interstate Batteries Toyota and the Mobile One Chevrolet. Beginning from row two, we have the Aris Ernet Toyota and the Motorcraft Ford. Starting from row three, we have the Bush Beer Chevrolet and the Great Clip Chevrolet. Beginning this afternoon from row number four, we have the Lowe's AC Smith Chevrolet and the Exalta Chevrolet. Beginning this afternoon from row number five, begin is the Fastenal Ford and the Smithfield Ford. Starting this afternoon from row six, we have the Furniture Row Toyota and the AAA Insurance Ford. Beginning this afternoon from row seven, we have the Target Chevrolet and the FedEx Express Toyota. Beginning today from row number eight, we have the, Mac the Menard Chevrolet and the McDonald Chevrolet. Beginning today from row number nine, we have the Advocare Ford and the DeWalt Toyota. Starting today from row number 10, we have the Caterpillar Chevrolet and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. Beginning from row 11, we have the American Ethanol E15 Chevrolet and the Miller Lite Ford. Beginning from row 12, we have the Ortho Ford and the Hasa Nation Chevrolet. Beginning from row 13, we have the Napa Auto Parts Toyota and the Nature's Bakery Chevrolet. Starting from number 14, we have the 83 car and the 9 car. Row 15, we have the 29 car and the 33 car. Beginning today from row 16, we have the 56 car and the 25 car. And starting today from the rear of the field, we have the Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Chevrolet and the 5 Iron IMG Toyota. Weather here it is uh, plus three, overcast, late February, Monday. Rain, rain stopped. We're closing in on the start of today's Auto Club 400. Probably about a day or so behind schedule. But who cares? We are ready to race. Larry, DW, you know the drill. All right, Larry, go up and go up there, reach some belts tight. There, pull those belts tight one more time. All right, we're here in California. We're running on a Monday. It doesn't take away from the glamour of this place. Ace, we're going to be... There may be some weather possibly building up, but who Who cares? The green flag is out, and boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. Oh, we got cars already not getting up to speed. And they pop up behind. Sixteen is in it. Thirty-one is in it. Three's got some damage. Not even one lap in, and we already have a bunch of beat-up race cars. Thirty the three car definitely is leaking a lot of fluid tonight. The six thirty one basically drove right into him. Basically thirty one got hit by the six, 16. The sixteen got really jacked up. Thirty one actually got hit by the teammate and somebody jacked sixteen up and 
spun him sideways into the dirt. And um, that was that. And you see the three, obviously, already making the right turn into the garage. It's been either feast or famine for that three team. Doesn't really matter in a, in what or in anything. It's always been some form of bad luck of following that team. Anyways, we're going to do it again right here. Your green flag back into the air. Caleb Hoffman doesn't waste any time getting to the bottom here in turn one. Side by side, coming off two. 18's being stuck in the sucker hole. Just like it, any restrictor plate race. The middle, if you get put in there with this package, is not the best place to be in. Look at how far back the 18 dropped all the way down to 7th. See the field beginning to thin out now. Dylan Murway beginning to come in the second. Here on his teammate. Looks like he's trying to bring the 48 with him. So far, it looks to be the Caleb Hoffman show here at California. Steve. Well, my Caleb said he brought out his car from Vi from California last year where he won on that race. He's applied that setup to his car on this year, and he's, they have loved it. In the only practice session, he was third quickest. He put the same setup in the 18, and unfortunately, he got put back in traffic. All right, we got a nice little battle for the lead. For uh, fourth between. Yeah, in a couple, about three cars. Yeah, that's right there. The 14, 18, 21. The 18 ducking down. Going to get, got one of them in. Maybe even two. Ooh, if we can get to 48 crossing over, maybe. Already we're getting into lap traffic with um, this 31. Already we're spreading out. The nice thing about this racetrack is it's multi groove Got multiple grooves on the racetrack. You can run high. You can run in the middle. You can run anywhere. Or you see the two, basically, a few moments ago, he was all the way up top. He caught the 20 and the 6 off the corner and just dropped both lanes. Granted, you can't really be moving around a lot like it's a character plate race. But what you can do 
is in the corner. If your car is not working right in one lane, due to the fact that it's kind of cold, <laughs> hold out right now. Move up. There's plenty of places to grip in this track. Rip this track is we got a car armed in the wall here in the uh, four. Again, that is the 41 this time. Right front, yeah, right front. That's gotta hurt. God, please stop giving me shitty ass cars. See the frustration there for Hunter Rizzoni. He was running in the twenty in twenty eighth place towards the tail end of his group. We're going to down on his car. Five laps in, and we almost got to six. And the 41 basically pounded the wall. Oh, yeah, still a fire going on under that car. Actually, a big, big fire. Second time that new Corvette Stingray Pace car is going to be deployed. Keep in mind, after this race today, one hour... After the conclusion of this race, we've been set with pretty blistering pace. It's on lap, on lap six. We had a couple cautions early on. We set a set a relatively blistering pace. One hour after the conclusion of today's uh, Auto Club 400 will be the Xfinity race, the Stater Brothers 300. That can be seen on FX. And streaming live on Fox Sports Go. So, meanwhile, um, here at California, the Oscars wrapped up last night. They were highly political driven, politically driven. Today, there's no politics, just 34 men being turned loose on NASCAR's best track. Oh my god. So far only two cars out of the race. One due to that start accordion and the other one out due to the due to the right front issue. Pace car is off. Here they come. Time for a good old NASCAR on Fox. Crank it up. Ready, 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 all right, all right, 
green, 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 green. All wrong. Protect the bottom. Protect, protect, protect. It's gonna side draft. It's gonna side draft you pretty hard here. Side draft. Watch the 18. Watch the 18. Watch the 18. Oh, round goes. Watch the 18. Whoa, whoa. The 18 forces his way up the racetrack into the 19. Who gets into the four? And wow, what an aggressive move out of the 18 camp to put himself out front here at Auto Club. Keep in mind that these drivers are encouraged to do their best every every day, every week. And now there might be smoke coming off the four car. After that contact. Yep, it's smoking big. Smoking big. Alright, just stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. The four may have a flat tire right here. After that skirmish. I got a flat. I got a flat. I got a flat. Alright, stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Alright, stay up. So good. No, good. Right, you good. Good. Stay up. Up. Stay up the track. Stay up the track. Up the. Oh. And we're spinning. Inning. Turn four. Turn three and four. The four car just went around. Caution is out. That four car. Ending champ Dylan Druid is uh, not having the best of luck with tires. Last last Sunday at Vegas, he had a tire issue that on the last lap, put in the wall by the two car. Fifty five. Uh, God, the eighteen turned low. The eighteen on the on nineteen nineteen got shot at the racetrack and got us. Who was spot for 19? Uh, Chris Osborne. Tell him it's a fucking lie. Well, we uh, know how he feels about that situation. While we're here, let's go ahead and look at the uh, at what's on up next. Here, next Sunday, we go to The Rock in Rockingham, North Carolina. One mile short track on Fox. Coverage beginning at noon Eastern with the Pizza Hut pre-race show. And then at 12.30 p.m. will be the live coverage of the Subway 400 from Rockingham. New concrete overlook got repaved last year. Can be definitely a fun one for the fans. Now we have four laps of racing left. Things are going to get insane. I bet you something may happen with these two leaders. All right, ready? Great jump by the two Gibbs cars. They're able to inch away from the field, it looked like. Looks like. Now the 19 pulling ahead. All right, half, half, half back, half back. Come on, half back. All right, half back, half back. Wow, look at this. Five, wow. God, my goodness. Are they able to make it out of two? Out of two alive. Side by side behind the oh, contact. A little bit of contact. A lot of contact. Okay, a little bit of contact coming off. Off, and I think the 78 kind of got squeezed there. There by the 17, the 22. They are side by side. I'd everyone all over the place trying to get all they can here. 
Here is we almost hit a big rack. We almost racked a bunch of them right there. That should have been ooh the shit storm that app. Do the four, try to get all he can on the top side. Maybe the Hendrick drivers can get a run. You see the 88 try and duck down. Maybe get some help. Three to go. Side by side. Here comes the 14. Down here. He's trying to mix things up. How about the five? Four car battle for the win here. The 19 edges ahead. Now the five trying to make it three wide for second. Caleb Hoffman is clear of the field. Oh, they're gonna they're not gonna make it through, through here. They are not going to make it through through this wreck. Ace here in one piece. He's there. Oh yeah, the five's definitely Find a side draft trying to. S oh, and the 14 is going to spin, and both the front row starters rack. Hard into the wall for the 14. Yellow flag. Yellow, 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 yellow. Caution is out. Just at two to go. A hard hit for the 14. Mean car straight in a fence. Comes to rest down in the grass right here. The 18 comes is gonna stop at the entrance of pit road. Wow. That changed everything right there. Hard hit for the for the 14. I'm Oh, he's getting out. He's getting out. That was a sight to see. I mean, that 14 hit a ton right there. Oh, and he got air. Air time. After a hard, he hit that outside wall. Off all four tires got off and around. Even the rear tires, too. Watch this. Fourteen, the five is basically hanging on the door of the fourteen, and came down. They just scraped, just wrong. Oh well, my god! That was a hard hit. I'm glad to see those two are two drivers out of their cars because that was nasty shot for both the 14 and the 18. That was nasty. Well, Joshua Leanbatch probably not too happy after that one. Neither is KFC Cup Series. Here's what uh, he had to do a few moments ago. Um. I believe he's an ambulance worker. Try to intercept him. He's saying, I'll be with you guys in a moment. And climbed on his box, on the box of the 14, and had a bit of a discussion. It was uh, not a pleasant one between those two cars.
Well, now we're going to go to overtime. This means if the leader makes it to that line on the back stretch, that center line between turn two and turn three, it is painted in white on the wall and it is painted white across the back back stretch. If the leader makes it to that line and there is a crash, the race will end under caution. And knowing how intense these restarts are going to go, how I, I want to give credit to a few guys for staying out for gambling because if something happens, we could see possibly a new face in the chase. Joseph Lombard, Jacob Tube. Grayson Alcevdo and WUB Network have stayed out. And we are going green here on the first attempted overtime restart. Ready? All right, ready? Green, green, green. Oh, contact here with the 78 and the 1. Looks like the 20. 48 is going to go all the way on the outside. What a terrible start for the 43. And the 48 and Nate Sherman escapes this. The 19 down on the bottom, side by side, going through one and two. They're losing, somebody's losing ground. They're losing ground here. They're losing some ground big time, big time, big time. Watch, 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 watch it. Here comes the 43. Side by side. Oh, trouble. Crash behind them. Oh, two cars. Did they make it to the overtime line? Now the caution comes out. The question is, who was in front at the moment of caution? We were in front, we were in front. The nineteen forty eight saga continues. The forty eight looked to have a run. It looked like when the wreck happened, the forty eight just edged ahead of the nineteen car at the when they got to the overtime line, and then the wreck started happening. Ooh, wow. Big hit for the 78. But watch the, There's the four came across trying to miss this. Miss the 78. Eight, he went in the wall pretty good. Big damage to his Chevrolet. And this means... And right there, the caution came out. Seventy-eight car trying to. <laughs> the field was frozen. Keep in mind, the field is frozen at the moment of caution. Dylan Merwin has immediately put the window net down. Obviously, none too pleased with how today went, and this means that at the moment of caution, Nate Sherman in the forty-eight car was ahead. Edging out the 19 again, basically in reverse rolls to last week. He could Vegas when Caleb Hoffman just edged out the 48. K 
Caleb Hoffman second, Grace Nell Sebdo third, Jacob Tube fourth, Apollo Moon fifth. So that is your top five. Big shout to What If Racing for a strong run this afternoon. Here at California. Burn it down, bud. Basically, the 43 in this was losing a lot of ground and basically got hooked together with the 78. The 78 got in the wall. 78 hit a lot of damage. He was trying to clear the incident. Then things really got big when he clipped the four, and then four went in the wall pretty hard. 78 kind of kissed the wall. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Already, Jonathan Morrison in a hole after his second place finish at Daytona. After a strong run at Daytona, that was obviously delayed to Sunday night. <laughs> Issues at Vegas, and unfortunately, finishing last today, not even completing a lap before basically busting the radiator on his car. Basically, he... The 34th, keep in mind that... Josh from Lean Batch and KFC Cup Series did... were checked and released, and they are okay for that late caution that set up that overtime. Time finish. Give power to WB Network for coming across the line in 20. Still rolling, by the way. He is scored in 25th place. Blazing race in California too. Oh, we were expecting a blazing race to kind of a halting portion of the race and start in the second half of this race. Four yellows, 12 laps, lap counter did freeze. And after today, this race, you can see the Xfinity race coming on one hour after the conclusion of this one, after things wrap up from California here. That can still be seen on FX and streaming on Fox Sports Go. Next Sunday at noon Eastern will be the Subway 400 from The Rock. However, the Friday afternoon, 8, 8, 10 a.m. Eastern will be, sorry, 9 a.m. Eastern will be uh, IHOP practice from The Rock. And then at noon will be cup qualifying. Then later on at 3.30 p.m. at 4 p.m. Eastern will be practice two, and then Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern will be the final practice session, and then the, the Great Clips 300 from Rocking Sphere for the Xfinity Series drivers, cards being at two, qualifying for that race, cards being at 2, 12, 30 p.m. Eastern, and then the cards, qual, cards for that race beginning at 2, 30 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Box, and then obviously we know the schedule for Sunday. Remember to start every Sunday morning with NASCAR Race Hub and NASCAR Race Day built by the Home Depot to get you everything you need to know about NASCAR. And remember to watch the the um, 
weekly show of NASCAR Race Hub for updates around the NASCAR Garage. After this race, will be a brief paid programming interlude as we go back to the studio to talk with John Roberts about, <laughs> about this race quickly, and then we go back out for the Xfinity pre-race show. Oh, and then the coverage of the Stater Brothers 300 from California. That will all be seen on FX. After this race will be tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern will be the coverage of will be 9-11. Witness the, the show with the two planes. And then 7.30 and 8 o'clock will be reruns of The Simpsons and Futurama, respectively. Then at 8.30 p.m., do not miss the premiere of Fast Five. That is all today on FX. Anyways, while we're here, congratulations to the 48 of Nate Sherman surviving a chaotic restart. And basically coming out on top. So long, Tomato Club. We'll see you next Sunday at the Rockingham at Rockingham.